feel about the game? How do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel about the game? Hi, how do you feel about the game? How do you feel? Okay. How do you feel about the game? How do you feel, my brother? You're very hard, the Nigeria team. They played well, but they did not have the opportunity to score. You see, Nigeria is a great team, but we are disappointed. There was no goal. The, the Tunisians seized the opportunity and they scored the one goal. We do not have a Why this area are here in Paris? Why the Tunisians are here in Paris? Why is it bon comme ça? Why, why, why? Why is it bon comme ça? How do you feel about this game? How do you feel about this game? How do you feel about the game?
do you feel about the game? Ah, Lamu, 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 Lamu. Chinese, yeah, oh yeah. What? What about you feel about the game? Talk to me. Chinese, yeah, oh yeah. Talk to me. How do you feel? Talk to me. How do you feel about the game? How do you feel about the game? The game is very bad. Why do you say so? The game is very bad. We are not happy, we are very hungry now. Nigeria is failing, okay? But you have been winning all this way. I tell you, we are not happy now. All right. Thank you, you once again. All right, thank you. Uh -huh. How you see the game now? Well, we try, but the team say not on our side. We try, 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 all right, thanks. Okay. Put up, put up, put up. Good. Now you are the fine. How you see this game now? Ah, uh, why? Because when I win. Oh, they win now. But when they win since now. They help them. They help them pass. Ah. My audience. You get Wakana. I understand. Talk to me. Yes. Hello. 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 How did you become coach today? You don't want to talk? Okay, it's all right. Talk to me. How do you feel about the game today? Oh, okay. No English. Now you are a fight. How you see this game today? Uh, 
Again today, you feel it's okay? Yeah, it's what is okay. That? Which team are you supporting here? Yes, I'm very great. I'm very football is superior in just one city. It's uh, some time Africa, Africa, you're big here. All right, thank you. Baba, how did the game go now? Talk to me, how did it go today? The game was cool. It turned out about it. So you're not angry? No, I'm not angry. I got a goal. Okay. Yeah, all one, one Africa. All right. Thank you. How do you feel about the game today?
Mama, how do you feel about today's game? Why? Right, because you didn't win. Yes. We should have scared you this match. So what do you think went wrong? I think when they get them the red card, when they get them the red card, all of them were disappointed. Because what they did doesn't deserve red cards. Doesn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve red card at all. They just want us to be out. That is why that referee gave us red card. He doesn't deserve that red card. I'm very, very disappointed. <laughs> Hey, take one, what you doing? You're fine. You're not angry. They did well. They tried all their best, but we thank God for today. That at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the match was successful by Tunisia. You know, they won the took the victory. So we have no choice. They did all their best. Are you angry? Are you angry? I am very Hey bro, how did he go today? How do you feel? Why? Because you didn't win? Mama, how you feel now? Why? Because everybody are expecting that Nigeria is going to win. And like what we try, I believe that we are going to carry the trophy back to our Nigeria. But the first place is for us. So what happens next? Are you going home? Are you staying? Why? 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 How do you feel about the game today? How was the game today? Nigeria, <laughs> Sola! Sauce, we. <laughs> 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 
is the situation here in Garoa in front of the stadium where the Kateji Eagles of Tunisia just beat the Super Eagles of Nigeria by one goal to zero and converts them from the round of 16 of AFCON and fully commanded from AFCON 2021. The Koko Bise, the Tunisia team scored one goal and why the match today on the Super Eagles also collect red card on top. Alex Iwobi now call the red card. And you can't be say the set to think on watching the whole matter till the game end. The Super Eagles were unable to score a goal. The game end 1-0. And the Super Eagles are out. <laughs>
We say for Garua, Nata part of Cameroon, the Supai Bush of Nigeria get massive support from both indigenous and Nigerians well from outside come. So many people look disappointed why some say that the normal thing will happen. Yes, 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 yes. How do you feel about today's game? How do you feel? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Baba, what's happen now? What's go wrong? Nothing go wrong, go wrong. I don't win us. When I don't know since where you they happy, so what you really happen to do? Like that's simple, that's simple. So at least our guys played and just the favor of the Nigeria. Situation for Garua. Garua still they hurt. People they vest, some they happy. Some say a normal football. Some say the Super Eagles supposed to qualify to the next round. Some say a lack of luck. Some say Tunisia get luck. But everybody they talk their own. We still there for the streets of Garua. We are still going to talk to more fans as we the work up with the green given all the updates where they happen. Just as it they happen, we sit around. When I stay with us, whenever they go, because plenty of fans sit there inside the stadium. Many of them never come out, and as they, they come out, we're going to talk to them. They hear what they got to say. I want to also witness when the Super Eagles and the Tunisia team go come out from the stadium. See more of their fans here. Yes. Mama, how do you feel about the game? What can we do? So you have to, you have to accept the thing. There's nothing we can do. And support our neighbor, Cameroon. Mama, how about you? What do you feel? Nobody give up, nobody can do. Never give up, never give up. Nigeria, they're going on. Nigeria is the good. Nigeria is the good. Nigeria is the good. I want to take you, I love you, Nigeria. Nigeria. 
la voilà. Okay, before we round off this particular live broadcast. <laughs> Some people they pursue thief after the match. People they rush them. I don't know what in a thief, whether it's thief or you know thief. I see people they shout thief. Now I'll be the talk same before we round off this particular Facebook live today. You go good, but we also go see the departure of the Eagles, both the Super Eagles and the Cartage Eagles. They are about to pull out from the stadium. So they go for the gate. They are go from Comot. After that one, we we'll go now round of this broadcast. We the on say on our followers. We will see all of you now. We we'll join us from the live for the live since we will start this live today. On our well done. Okay, uh, we're talking about the inside the stadium. The Eagles are ready to come out. But the Cartage Eagles will be the winners and the Super Eagles. They said their boss is done load up. And a little while, they will come out from this particular gateway. This is so. Yes! At the gate of the stadium, waiting they for come out. And security, they tight for here. You see, tight security policemen, military men, with their ground. All of them. They're ready for the coming out of the Eagles. Let me show you their boss. Where did they use come out? For front, now the boss of the Cartage Eagles of Tunisia will beat the Super Eagles of Nigeria. When the game be the start, I will tell on a set and fight between two Eagles. And one Eagle go fly the go house, while the other Eagle go fly stay back for Garoa and that is the case here the boss with the see the red boss now the Tunisia boss why behind them another boss for the super eagles they will soon drive out once we witness their departure from the stadium Go feed and round of the life. <laughs> Remember, say if you enter our website bbc.com slash pigeon and our Facebook page, our Instagram page, and our Twitter page to go check out to hear about what happened here today. What thing go wrong? How it take happen? Every detail about the second game of uh, round of 16. What happened today? The first game did not happen where Burkina Faso beat Gabon by penalties. But this is the second game, and the Super Eagles were unable to defeat the, the Cartage Eagles. End of the game, Cartage Eagles beat the Super Eagles by one goal to zero. And also, as they collect that one goal, and so they also lose one man in the game. 
Alex Iwobi. They collect red card also for the game. This is not the situation for Garoa. And for other parts of uh, Cameroon, this matter still they happen. People they talk about that for social media. People they holler everywhere waiting to happen, how it take happen. Funny enough, for here for Garoa, where the match happened, Tunisia not get too much fans. Fans with the and a major league football fans from Nigeria. Just a few from all from Tunisia. But as the game be the game of football, the Tunisian national team beat the Nigerian national team. The five last five times where they meet, Nigeria beat the Tunisian team once. Why the other games where they play not draw. So let's say for the past six games now, including this one, now we have six games. Nigeria don't beat them one. Why Tunisia don't beat Nigeria once? And the other four games, not draw it be. Story about Super Eagles, story about Tunisia. Their our website, bbc.com slash pigeon. Monasty stay with us, and this is a plenty of monasty. They had a true question, argument, they jump up and down inside this place. I know if you respond to all of them because I get to 5,000 people they here, they follow me, they watch this stuff. Uh, but I'll go fit, read one or two. Some people they query, some people, some people they query coach decision. Some people they query some players with inside the team. And everywhere we full inside, and they see all of our comments, they hear all of our. And I will more especially thank all of our who follow us come this particular tournament where they depend on us for all the details of this where they happen for Cameroon. Say Super Eagles come on, no me say the BC Pigeon. Don't come up from Garoa. You know me say the BC Pigeon don't come up from Cameroon. The BC Pigeon is still there. We go still they give on a live update. Remember say the host country Cameroon still did this tournament and then go soon play against Comoros. Remember say Mo Salah still did this game, this tournament, and he go soon play. Remember say Sadio Mani still did this tournament and he go soon play. So all these updates about all these top stars, we go see they bring them to now. Just as it happened, live and direct. Yeah, person they greet us from Sweden, they see you, they hear you back too. Person say from Jamaica they watch. <laughs> We'd also hear you back. Everybody where they watch us from all over the world with the hey Luna. At least this one go down prove to Nase. Uzezi. One of the Super Eagles supporters day here. The day, the day three. I don't talk to you before, Abi. Make I talk to this man. How it take up? What it happen? For real. Let's start with the lady. Well, anyone? Okay, I think it was more of the Tunisians understanding that they were going to contend with a big team. And then they prepared really well. They really took their time and they prepared really well. They were tactical, they were focused, they had they had a game plan, which was um, many of us were actually lacking on our side because you know always we need we won on our games consistently. And then coming to face Tunisia, we probably felt a little bit relaxed. Because even the first half of the game, I can interpret it to be that we were still trying to understand them before we were playing them, which shouldn't have been. And uh, what is even more painful about the entire game is that the best losers currently at AFCON took out the best team, the best winners, you know, on the charts. It's painful to Nigerians, it's painful to the Cameroonians here currently, and every other supporter of the Nigerian Super Eagles team. All right, let me hear it from you, bro. I've been seeing your face. He's been smiling, but you're no more smiling. 
What should be going on? Okay, well, yeah, no one, no one yeah, takes a defeat and smiles. You have to take it in and then try to move on. Well, what happened today? It's football. That's just what happened today. Uh, I wouldn't say we were overconfident, but I felt we should have taken our chances in the first half because we were not, we were never direct. And the one time these guys hit us directly, it went into the net. Then after them, we were all we were just struggling and trying to like hit it back, and it was not coming. I felt we should have taken our chances in the first half, and that was no that, that didn't happen. Do you now, think the, the the coaching crew made any mistake? Well, I would say that we should have had more than one strategy because you know coming into the competition. We were using our flanks from the beginning, and you know, definitely, these guys would definitely go and watch us, watch the past matches, and know how we were playing. So, I was thinking, okay, if the flanks are not working, do something else, bring out something else, and that didn't happen. We were trying the flanks from the beginning to the end, from the beginning to the end. These guys watched us, you understand? They watched the previous video, they, they knew that okay, we were using Simon, we we're using Chikurize. It should have changed, we should have tried probably the middle, you understand? Tried long ball. There are different tactics that we should have used, but none of them. That I think is one thing that we got wrong today. All right, thanks a lot, bro. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Good. Okay, those were yeah. the super egos, our supporters. We see the verse over what it happened today, and uh, we see the provoke. And then we try and analyze what really go wrong today. And for them, the super egos so much wrong. But you know, happen as they want. I've only seen few Tunisian supporters, and uh, the few I see, you know, speak English, they just speak a uh, uh, small language. They don't speak uh, exactly what they want or uh, how they see the game. But still, they look out for more of them. Remember, say, why would they for these gates now? Because would they wait for the movement of the two egos out of the stadium? We're good to see some of them. See their faces for the winners and the losers. The cartridge egos fight with the super egos and cartridge egos carry the day. One thing where the last person when I interview raised uh, the issue of say now one of the best losers for the group stage and then come beat the best team so far, according to her, for the tournament. Best team in the sense that Nigeria super egos carry nine points from their first three games that's the group stage games that can be the only thing we carry nine points but when you reach knockout stage uh, boss i'm back with you would you want to talk it's okay you want to talk please tell me this all right all right Okay. Uh, that was uh, Daniel Amokachi. I wanted to talk to him, but he said we should talk to him tomorrow. So we we'll see they wait the movement of the two egos. I don't know what's in the delay them, but I know say they don't load up. Two of them don't enter their cars. One of them will be flying home back to their country while the other one go. Still they fly around for Cameroon. I don't have any situation with the ground now. Okay, at this juncture, we're we'll not go fit still they wait till they load up the vehicles before they leave. But we'll sit around to get updates and send to now. So for now, we'll go end this live broadcast and the hello of Fonawa don't join us for the live broadcast. Uh,
from Sweden to US to Ghana to Cameroon. We had a lot of our uh, we end the live now. Remember say if you want more updates about Afcon still enter our website bbc.com slash TV. You can also enter our other social media platforms to get details of what thing they happen. My name is Andrew Gift, and I hear I go sign up the live broadcast for today. And I say thank you, say on a join us from the beginning of today's broadcast till the end. We hear all of on our way join us. On our well done. On our well done.